Hey folks, this is Jake Davis, and today I would like to count down my picks for the top five best actresses of 2018. This is my fourth of six videos recounting the best movies of the year, and uh, I'll tell you the truth, I have a little bit, I've had a little bit of trouble getting this one recorded and out there, so ho hopefully this recording goes right. Um, so right into it. Number five is Alicia Vikander for Tomb Raider. Um... Everything Angelina Jolie's movie lacked, this had. This had exciting action scenes. A likable character. A good actress playing the part. Uh, Alicia Vikander, in, in every conceivable way, was better choice for, for Lara Croft and better in the role. Um, this movie had was so much better than it had any right of being. Um, I personally think it was better than this year's Jurassic Park this year's Pacific Rim, and this year's Deadpool. Um, I really, really enjoyed Tomb Raider. I thought it was very good. Uh, it, and it just goes to show you, when you, when you see your character, your hero broken down, beaten up, struggle, their triumph means that much more. When they just walk in the door and they're absolutely perfect and never have to break a sweat, how do you invest in a character like that? Anyhow, number four, Jamie Lee Curtis for Halloween. Uh, this is the fifth time Jamie Lee Curtis has played Laurie Strode, and to be honest, she's played five different characters. But what makes this one really cool is now she's the Loomis. Uh, we've wiped away the, all the silliness that started with Halloween 2, and um, uh, we go right into uh, Laurie Strode being the harbinger of the small village, uh, who, who the small village doesn't listen to, the town doesn't listen to, as the, uh, the, 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 the monster approaches. Uh, this movie had a great look, a great style to it, and uh, Jamie Lee Curtis is in top form, and it's always, excuse me, good to see her come back to horror. Number three is uh, Rachel McAdams for Game Night. Uh, I adore Rachel McAdams. I love Rachel McAdams. I really think she is beyond just beautiful and sexy. She's classy. She's intelligent. She's elegant. She's timeless, really. I'm just, I get enamored with that woman when, uh, when I see her in a movie. Um, uh, what was so cool about Game Night, though, is she got her return to her roots. You know, her first film was The Hot Chick. Her breakout was um, uh, the uh, indie dar uh, cult classic uh, Mean Girls. She played the villainous Regina George. And, you know, I've, I've been a fan of her at least since then, and definitely since Wedding Crashers, which is one of my favorite comedies, like, ever. But this, you know, it's great because you got, you know... There's all this, what's going on, what's real, what's the game, who's lying, who's out to get somebody else who's nefarious, who's just playing, and her and Jason Bateman just have tunnel vision. They're looking at the finish line because they want to win. And that's great. That's hysterical. Um, number two is uh, Lady Gaga in A Star is Born. Uh, I wouldn't be a bit surprised. In fact, I'm kind of expecting Gaga to uh, win an Oscar for this, for something, whether it be for her acting or for uh, best original song, Shallow. Uh, at least one of those songs. Most likely Shallow. But, uh, yeah, she's really good in this. She made the part her own. Now, you could definitely argue that Bradley Cooper's part, the male part in A Star is Born, is a lot more meat to the character, you know, with, with the self-destruction and the addiction and all that kind of stuff. But Lady Gaga is the star in A Star is Born. And she's absolutely terrific in it. And like I said before, she made the part, like I said, she made the role her own. She took a classic character, did it justice, but applied it to what fit her as well. She did an excellent job here, and if you were to say she was the best actress of the year, I wouldn't disagree with you, but she's not my number one. My number one is Toni Collette for Hereditary. Like with Rachel and Jamie Lee, you got an actress returned to her roots. Toni Collette became a star in 1999 with the sit sense, and now she's come back to horror. And this is not like your typical horror movie. There's absolutely no levity. Uh, Ari Austin goes um uh like william freakin did with the exorcist it is just relentless it is terrifying it is horrific it is a nightmare of a movie and it is insanely well done insanely effective now as much as i love this movie i would never ever use the words enjoyable or fun to describe it but it is a great great horror movie and tony collette delivers a powerhouse performance and i would love to see her get nominated for an oscar even though i think that's very very doubtful um she's my number one 
uh, honorable mentions, I'd say uh, Emily Blunt for both uh, A Quiet Place and Mary Poppins Returns. I mean, if you like those movies, I understand that, but I just didn't enjoy either of those. I didn't like either of those movies, to be honest with you. Um, like I said, you know, great performances and high-profile successful movies. Uh, she had, like, the best year of anybody in Hollywood, but I just I just didn't like those movies, so I'm not nominating her. And Lupita Nyong'o as a Nakia and Black Panther did a terrific job. It's like I said, it was, like I've said before, it was great to see the love interest in a superhero movie um, actually uh, actually uh, important to the plot and the story of the film, not just the girlfriend. Um, that was great. So uh, yeah, those are my picks for best actress of the year. I really rushed this one because I was afraid my phone was gonna die again. Um, uh, I got two more of these to go. Hope you tune in. Hope you communicate, get involved, like, share, comment, all that jazzy stuff. I'm Jake Davis, and I'll catch you on the fly.